In this tutorial, we'll go through configuring our external programming environment and our MetaTrader server EA's inputs in order to complete the cycle and establish a bridge between our external programming environment and the MetaTrader 4 platform. For this particular case, we'll be using Python as described previously and configuring the Python client application that is provided to you inside the DWX ZeroMQ connector project. First things first, let's go back to our Anaconda prompt and make sure that our environment is complete. We need one more dependency and that is pandas and the DWX serum Q connector Python script relies on pandas being installed in your environment. If you're using the base Anaconda environment, then you don't need to worry about this as pandas comes pre-installed. However, if you are using the custom environment that we created in the previous tutorial, you'll need to install pandas accordingly. For your convenience, I've already installed pandas in this uh, custom environment prior to initiating this tutorial. Also, if you plan on running scripts via IPython, then you'll need to have IPython installed in this custom environment as well. If you're using the base environment, IPython comes pre-installed in the base environment. Installing IPython requires the following command, conda install IPython, as simple as that. Both are currently installed and now can be used. Let's now go back to the DWX ZeroMQ connector uh, downloaded directory where we extracted the files and head inside the current version that is in release. And that's version 2.0.1. Previously, we were looking at files inside MQL4 as there were dependencies and deliverables for the MetaTrader side of things. Now we're inside the Python folder and in here, and in here we need to go into API and here's where we'll find our Python client application. Open the client application in your favorite text editor of choice and inside here you'll find everything from the definition of the class, all the logic, all the functionality implemented for you, as well as helper functions that allow you to perform trading activity and data acquisition activity to and from MetaTrader. Specifics of this class are covered in the dedicated tutorial series Algorithmic Trading with ZeroMQ, Python and MetaTrader on the DarwinX YouTube channel. A few things to note about the arguments passed to the init function. If there is no reason for you to change the default ports that are specified over here, unless they are in use on your system or are reserved for other purposes, please leave these unchanged. If not, set these to open ports that are allowed through your firewalls and you'll need to correspondingly set these inside MetaTrader as well as I'll show you shortly. There are some other helper um, arguments that are there for you, for instance, verbosity. If you don't wish to see output on your console, then you can set this to false. Otherwise, it can stay true. Poll timeout is for ZMQ polar objects that are constantly monitoring for information back from MetaTrader with a timeout equal to this number of milliseconds. There's a sleep delay of 0.01 .01 between certain calls and you can increase this or decrease this per your specification. The recommendation is to leave it at one millisecond and if not, then to increase it, not to decrease it any further. Socket monitoring in ZeroMQ is an experimental feature in this particular client application and has hence been set to false. However, if you would like to experiment with socket monitoring and send us your feedback, then please do enable this to true and conduct some tests. Other than that, localhost for host, TCP for protocol can remain exactly the same and your client ID can change. You can change it to anything you like depending on your preferences. And that's pretty much it. Let's now go back to our Anaconda console and over here, let's load our script into an IPython console. Inside IPython, type in from DWX as we are currently in the API directory where this file is housed. We're going to load the script, load the class, dwx underscore zero mq connector from inside the file zero mq connector v201 rc8. If everything has been installed as has been demonstrated in this tutorial, then you shouldn't see any problems with missing modules or other warnings. The installation conducted throughout this video tutorial series has been on a Windows 10 machine from scratch with no dependencies or software installed prior to shooting this video tutorial series. So if you've been following everything along and uh, implementing the instructions presented, there should be no problems in getting ahead with this step here. Now we're going to create ourselves an object called underscore ZMQ and initialize it to type DWX serum Q connector. And we'll use all the defaults that you see on the left of the console here, port numbers, localhost, TCP, client ID, and all poll timeout and sleep um, delay values. The Python application is now ready to 
send and receive data between itself and MetaTrader. So now let's go over to MetaTrader and configure it for first use with the DWX 0MQ server EA. That will be the component necessary for completing the cycle of communication between our external environment, that is Python, and MetaTrader for trading and data acquisition purposes. As always, if you enjoyed this presentation, please do consider sharing it with your social networks, colleagues, co-workers and friends. And do subscribe to the Darwinx YouTube channel so you remain up to date with all future videos that will be released in this series and other topics discussed on Darwinx. Thank you very much for your attention. See you next time.